Happy Wednesday! I'm, yeah, I'm using my fancy camera today to just change things up. Um, Jordan Clark just uploaded a studio vlog that was so beautiful and it made me want to break out my fancy camera and um, sort of, you know, yeah, I guess change things up, up by production value. I don't know. Um, but hi, hello. I just woke up from a nap and I just made myself a cup of tea because it is Wednesday afternoon. It is 4 p.m. Um, so technically it's like pretty much almost at the end of my work day, but, um, I need to, I'm ordering some like, I'm trying out some new little thank you cards, and so I need to design them so that I can order them, and I am also, I actually also just got my proofs in for my prints, because I'm trying to like outsource my prints, and I just got my proofs in, and the proofs look fucking perfect, which is always exciting, um, I feel like more and more I learn every day about the nuances of taking digital art to print and so I made sure to do a bunch of test prints and prepare the PDFs accordingly and those are the PDFs that I submitted to the website and now they're here and they look awesome and they're also printed on recycled paper which is great it makes me feel really good um, it's like not as thick as I would like but honestly I think that the um, print quality makes up for it and the fact that it's on recycled paper so I also think it's not necessarily a bad thing but like yeah look I don't know if you can really see but um, I have this one and then I have like a little kind of a smaller print because this is a slightly simpler digital piece and I didn't think that it was I don't think it's suited I don't know I don't think it's suited like a larger canvas size and so kept it small and honestly I think it looks really good that way. And then I have my Cloud Giant, which I love. I might... Honestly, this actually looks pretty good too. So, it looks pretty much exactly how it does when I print it. If anything, it might need to be a little more saturated, but... I think it looks pretty good! So, awesome! And then all I have to do is go on and approve the proof, and then those these will be printed and shipped to me so I can have them in my hands, so I can be all ready for my shop update. Um, let us see here. So, I was working on more printable stuff for my shop. I'm working on a little printable calendar set that I really, really like. Um, it's like a cute floral printable planner set, um, just because the one that's currently available on my website, I designed over, I designed almost two years ago, so the style's really outdated. So I wanted to design a new planner set, and I think it looks really cute. And then... I also am going through, like, I have to do the boring things, like update my inventory, take new product photos where it's necessary. Um, there's, like, a couple graphics that I want to update on my website, again, that I drew, like, last year, and so they're very outdated at this point. And then I was also, again, I wanted to try to make new little thank you cards, and um, those won't be here in time for my shop opening, but it's more of, like, a test run regardless. And then I wanted to... I need to make one more printable. I also need to make some phone backgrounds. I was toying with the idea of getting new stickers. I want to make washi tape, um, some new notepads, and some new stickers. Um, but like, I'm going to be ordering those and those will be coming in at the end of this month or the beginning of next. So those will be like for my next shop update. Um, but I'm going to start, instead of closing my shop down for long periods of time, just to like, so that way people can order my stuff whatever they want. It also helps with like a con more consistent income flow. I'm going to just sort of have my shop open all the time and then just do periodic like product drops. But instead of doing huge updates where I have like, you know, six or seven new items, maybe when I do a shop update, it'll just be like two or three. Um, Cause that means that I can, I can update my shop more often. I can also like, I don't know, make new products. I'm going to try that out. See how it goes. <laughs> We're all, you're always trying new things, always learning. Um, but yeah, it's been 
a pretty chill Wednesday so far. I had therapy this morning, which went really well. Fun, <laughs> fun Cheyenne fact. Uh, for those of y'all that don't know, I've actually been in therapy for disordered eating for like over a year now. And um, it's going really well. I feel like I'm finally starting to internalize all the things that I've been learning and talking about with my therapist. I like came out of my therapy session this morning chanting, food is not the enemy. Food is not the enemy. And so I feel like that's progress, which is always exciting. Um, and then tonight, Connor and I, I'm fixing dinner. It's my turn to fix dinner. And I'm going to be fixing um, a salad with some chicken on top, just like a really nice like spinach um, balsamic salad with goat cheese and walnuts and strawberries. And then we're going to have um, some chicken on top and then some fancy toast on the side because we have the sourdough that I want to take advantage of. Um, I was also thinking about making biscotti, but I think I will do that tomorrow. Um, I'm gonna make like lemon almond biscotti because fika treats are very important. I was saying that fika treats are very important to me. Yeah, so I think fika is super important in this house, speaking of which. It's four! It's fika time! So it's, it's late fika. Are you gonna make yourself a cup of coffee? Uh, iced tea. Iced tea. The ginger peach. It's so good. It's so good. Um, and then Sophie is curled up on the sofa. Cute as, cute as a button. Uh, Wednesday.
it is I just forgot what day it was. It's Thursday. Hi. Uh, so I've been working. Well, actually, I've spent most of the day working on some new thank you cards for my shop. Um, because they need to order. They're not going to be in time, here in time for my reopening. But I have a bunch of other thank you cards they, I need to get through anyway. But I'm really excited with how they turned out. They're super cute. They feature um, Sophie and some flowers, and I really like how they turned out. Connor, help me focus the camera so now I can have a little further away just for a more interesting look um but last night I got a comment on one of my YouTube videos uh actually I've gotten a couple of these comments and it was a little a few weeks ago and essentially they brought up the point that it's like hey if you want your like packaging to be sustainable ideally you would just have less packaging because it doesn't matter if like the you know the stuff is compostable or recyclable it's like ultimately especially the compostable stuff the chances of that just winding up in a landfill are pretty high again considering the majority of places in the world don't have commercial composting facilities and so i was initially like when i first was when this was first brought to my attention i got really defensive and i was like oh but i want my cute packaging and i've thought a lot about this and like all of that is true but i was like i think they bring up a valid point so I've been trying to think about how, um, essentially, because I really want to, I want to make sure I'm protecting my products, but of course I also want to make sure that, like, my shit is as, as sustainable as possible, and so... Hi, this is Editing Cheyenne. So, originally I had a clip here where I just talk on and on and on about how I'm changing my packaging and all of this stuff, and everything I say in that clip is not true, because I change my packaging in different ways, um... Basically, like, I'm just, like, not using the... I'm not using glassine at all. I'm just wrapping my stickers in my wrapping paper, and I'm not using compostable plastic anymore. I'm just putting my prints and my notebooks and my other stationery. I'm putting those in the glassine bags instead. Um, you'll see that later in the video when you get to see me actually package orders, but I just, like... I just cut out this whole bit, because I was like, well, nothing you're saying is true. Anyway, so... just want to give you a heads up. <laughs> I, I want to make use of the stuff that I have because, you know, I have so many compostable plastic bags that I need to get through. But I was thinking that whenever, um, like, Seattle opens up kind of like art markets again, you know, it probably won't be till next year, but whenever Seattle opens up like artist markets again, I can use my compostable sleeves for packaging at those events because then I know that the customers that are buying my stuff have access to uh, compost because Seattle is a composting city. Uh, that way those won't go to waste, but they will not be used for a long time. So, um, yeah, I was happy. I was, I was lying awake in bed last night thinking about this, um, because I want my stuff to be really cute and I want the unboxing experience to be fun, but I don't want it to seem wasteful because ultimately, um, sustainability is definitely more important to me than like, um, you know, the pristine presentation of my products. That's what's been on my brain. Let's see, it is 4 p.m. I'm going to make myself another cup of tea. Um, I'm going to probably clean up my desk a little bit and then uh, Connor and I are having burgers for dinner tonight. Uh, burgers and some homemade potato wedges or like wedge, fri wedge fries. Are you on fry duty? Yes, cool. I'm on fry duty and I am also on bun duty, so. Oh, you're making buns. Right? Because nice. we don't have any. We don't. I forgot about that. That's awesome. Yeah. So How long does it take for you to make buns? It doesn't take that long. If I make them now, it should be fine. Yeah, yeah. I, so. I have no frame of reference for anything baking related. I know. So I don't. So I'm going to make um, some french fries and some uh, burger buns for dinner tonight. So that should be very yummy. talk to y'all in a couple days on this vlogo. Uh, we are deep in the midst of shop prep. Um, you can also see that I changed back to my vlogging camera because um, I was frankly getting a little lazy or a little impatient setting up all those 
camera angles because my other camera, as beautiful as the footage comes out, doesn't have, it has autofocus, but the autofocus is so shitty. And so um, I have to like focus all the shots manually. Uh, so especially when I'm talking to camera, it's just way easier to use my little vlogging feller. But hello, it's Tuesday. We've got quite the week ahead of us. I was gonna open my shop on Thursday, but just looking at all the shit that I need to do, I'm going to open it on Friday. I'm going to be opening it at noon on Friday, July 17th. And yeah, we have, we have quite a few things to do. I'm like looking at my little Notion planner that I have set up and it's like, um, I've done one of the sketches I needed to do, I'm gonna be working on some phone backgrounds today. Tomorrow is a lot of like, uh, tomorrow is a lot of like product organization and making sure that like I have all my product photos up to date and I have all my PDF files for my printable setup. Um, oh, my prints from Cat Print should actually be coming in today. So I need to keep an eye out for those. Connor and I are about to go grocery shopping because um, we need to, it's been a full week and so it's, Time to replenish the fridge. Um, and then I'm gonna be, so yeah, so tomorrow is like getting the website kind of all sp spiffy and good looking. And then Thursday is going to be like a lot more kind of mundane type work. Like I need to count inventory. I have to unpack all of the notebooks. Um, I don't know if, I think I talked about it in this vlog. I've been recording for like pretty much a full week now. Um, but basically talked about how I'm really trying to be more mindful of the amount of packaging I use in my um, like orders and stuff. So, and then, yeah. And then like I need to, oh, and then also tomorrow I need to post on Instagram like updates about shipping details, updates about like my price increase, um, just so everyone's up to date. And then Friday, I gotta open my shop and like probably take a small break in the afternoon and probably just get to work packing orders so I can like kind of stay on top of things. And then this weekend, I'm also going to pack orders, but I was also looking forward to streaming again this weekend. Um, uh, because if y'all saw, I, I've, I, I've been streaming on Twitch, which is like really cool and fun. And it's like one more thing to do. It's not like I'm not already doing so many things, but um, I find streaming like I, play, I love playing video games, and so I find streaming really fun and cool, and it's very exciting, and I'm really close to finishing the second Phoenix Wright game. I'm like in the last part of the, tri the final trial, but um, I told the chat on Sunday that I wouldn't play the game with, I wouldn't finish the game without them, and so I was thinking about seeing if I could stream it tonight, but that just depends on how my work for the rest of the day goes. So, um, I hope you can do it. I hope I can do it too. Because, like, you love that game. I do love that game. It's so fun. Objection! Overruled! They don't say that in the game. They don't? They say, HOLD IT! That's another one. They say, HOLD IT and OBJECTION are like the two yelling things. Um, Connor and I finished B Stars last night. What a ride. I just tweeted about it. I oh, really? I saw it. No. But, but Gohan is yeah. bang. Like, Go in his bay. He's just this jacked panda with a scar on scars on his face and a uh -huh. bamboo crossbow. He's really so cool. cool. He's really cool. Yeah. Favorite character? Lagoshi. I really like Lagoshi. I like him so much. There's a lot to like. I like him so much. I'm probably gonna read the manga. Yeah, why not? I know, but I don't want to get ahead of the anime. Well, that's the risky run, right? It's fine. Um, <laughs> it's fine. Um, so we just finished Beastars, which was so good. And then uh, I realized that, like, I just want to watch more anime, but the problem is that, like, I can't watch it while I work because I have to read the subtitles because I don't speak Japanese. So I don't, I don't know how I'm going to go about that, but I really want to watch Haikyuu. I've never watched Haikyuu, especially since the manga is, like, finishing. I think it's like releasing the last like installment very soon, I believe. Maybe this week. I don't know. And then my Paper Mario The Origami King comes out this Friday as well, which is just like wow. And um, yeah, and then I have my shop update. I did my taxes. I'm also paying my, my first two payments of my estimated taxes for next year because I got penalized because I underpaid them last year. 
Um, so I make sure not to do that this year so I don't get penalized again. Yeah, mostly just like lots of drawing today. I was working on a sketch for this like little sort of cottage core y type um, printable that I'm gonna be offering. And I like, I like it. it I think it's cute, uh, but I feel I'm in a weird art space right now, which sucks, especially because I have a lot of art I need to create, but I'm trying to work my way through it. Um, but I think that it, I think that the sketch turned out pretty cute and I'm excited to eventually color it in whenever that happens. And then, um, I have one more sketch that I need to do today. And then the rest of today is basically just like working on phone backgrounds. So got to figure out what I want to do for that. I'm also wondering if there's like any illos that I already have that I could like potentially maybe like scan in and use as phone backgrounds or like offer up as phone backgrounds. So I'm thinking about that. Yup, we've ju I've just got, uh, I've got a fair bit on my mind. Um, yesterday, cause I didn't vlog yesterday. Yesterday I got like my email set up, like my new shop specific email. And so now all my shop inquiries and everything will, can be collected in one place. So that way I don't lose emails from like customers that need help with stuff. And then I still have like my like personal professional email, but at least now all my shop inquiries and stuff have, can, can live in one place so they don't get buried um, because email is a broken system. And so it's just very easy for me to lose important emails. And so I'm trying to do that less. Happy Tuesday. Do you wanna say happy Tuesday, baby? Happy Tuesday. Excellent. <laughs> sketchbook trying to have a trying to enjoy this weather but I guess we should probably be going home soon yeah 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 it's eight so time to go home me thinks <laughs> what are you doing stop, stop. stop. what nothing <laughs> Hello. Hey there. How am I looking? It's actually, you're actually looking pretty good. Just chilling at the park. Jay chilling. It's very nice. It is really nice. We tend to go out here maybe once a week. Mm-hmm. Uh, not a cloud in the sky. Mm-mm. A lot of doggos. So many doggos. There's a party. There's a doggo party. Lead in. Bridge of birds. Mm-hmm. 
Lido <laughs> bought me in <laughs> secret. I got this book in the mail. I was like, how did this get ordered to my house? <laughs> I was freaking out, but it mm -hmm. turned out it was Lido. He yeah. did not have a stalker, it yeah. was just a Lido. I thought I had a stalker. It's a strange little book from a good but strange friend. Good and strange. Incredible. Connor said, and I quote, I gotta flex once. And then he pulled his juggling balls out of his backpack. I'm a little bit out of practice, here we go. Oh yeah. Yes. yes. Excellent work. No. no. So close. One more? Um, yeah, I don't know what you want to see. No, it's anything you want to show. So, multiplexes. Oh, shit. Off the head, people like that. Oh, oh yeah. And then, you gotta end strong. Yes. yes. Beautiful work, honey. Are you so happy, Soph? Are you happy with Papa? Oh, yes. I just don't know where my uh, AirPods are. Yeah. Let me fetch them for you. They're either on my nightstand or on my desk. You see them? Yes! Yo! Yo! Taro! Hiro! Oh! Have fun! Arigato gozaimasu! Yeah, yeah! Yeah, yeah! Japanese! Japanese! <laughs> ah. Okay, oh, I have to reframe this. This isn't cute. Hello! We are in the evening of July 17th, aka uh, we are in the evening of shop launch day. So I haven't been vlogging much at all. I can maybe insert like a dramatic reenactment here of what I have been doing in the past two days because it's not exciting to look at from a vlog standpoint. I've basically just been hunched over my computer typing frantically, drawing little graphics, just like... I didn't realize that I wanted to update my entire website yesterday, but I did. I was just like, I'm just gonna brush up on like some of the... I was like, I'm gonna update a couple of the graphics and then I ended up doing like all new spot illos and creating a landing page on my website and then like I forgot about how long it can take to like make thumbnails and like create product and list everything and make sure that everything's all sorted and I had changed my email to have like a dedicated shop email and basically I spent like 10, 10 hours, 12 hours yesterday at my computer just like, just like this basically, <laughs> concentrating super hard. Um, but now my shop is open, um, I'm sold out of my um, Black Lives Matter fundraiser stickers, which is really exciting. I think we're actually donating like 
I think it's like $1,800. I think we're gonna be end up donating $1,800 to the uh, Northwest Community Bail Fund, which is rad as hell. Uh, I'm gonna have information about the Northwest Community Bail Fund in the description. I'm also gonna be changing up the orgs that I'm donating to periodically. I'm planning on having this fundraiser going on for basically this foreseeable future. So um, there's gonna be like different organizations. I was also looking at like Bird Bar Place, which um, focuses on providing people with like uh, financial stability or like financial assistance uh, to make sure they don't get like their lights cut off on their house or making sure they have access to food and stuff like that. And these are all local Seattle organizations. Um, and they're, there's like, of course, you know, like the Ochre Project, which provides food security to uh, black trans folks. Um, they're not local to Seattle, but I think that what they're doing is really still really important. So I've been researching different local orgs just to see kind of like what different, what different institutions I want to cycle my, uh, the donations between so that we can spread uh, the wealth amongst them. Um, to help them in their championing for good. But shop is open. I have so many orders to pack, which is a wonderful problem to have. I was really scared that my price increase on my sticker sheets was going to like really deter people um, from spending because I also know we're like in the middle of a pandemic. And so I know things are a bit tight, um, but like uh, y'all came through. And I'm so overwhelmed and so thankful and so grateful. Like I can't, I can't even begin to express the feelings within my heart. I'm so, I'm so excited to be making products again and, or like packing products again. And now I'm thinking about stuff that I want to make for like my fall update that I'm hoping to do in either September or October. And I'm like, Ooh, what products do I want to make for that? So. That is, of course, if the United States Postal Service doesn't collapse in September. But um, we will cross that bridge when we get to it, I suppose. Um, if that does happen, my online shop probably won't exist anymore. So, uh, fingers crossed. Besides that, I'm looking forward to being busy for the next couple weeks packing orders and just sort of like doing things. And now, kind of my mission for this evening and what I'm going to be working on this weekend is just like... It's just like reorganizing my sticker setup, basically just like reorganizing how I store my stickers so that it's easier for when it comes to like picking for orders and stuff. So I essentially need to revamp this whole thing and I'm trying to figure it out and I think that I'm pretty sure I have enough boxes but I might need to hit up Target this weekend just to like fill in the gaps somewhere but uh, we will we're gonna see what I can do. I think that's all I'm gonna do for this vlogo. Um, my next vlogo, I think will probably be focused a lot on me like packing orders and what it's like to ship out a lot of orders <laughs> as one person. So I can give you guys an insight into that process because uh, it's a lot. It's a lot. I have a lot to do these next couple weeks. So yes, I'll bring you, I will bring you along for the journey. Well, so as a heads up, I am doing a podcast with my friends tonight at 8.30. Great, sounds good to me. Sophie. Sophie. Hi, gorgeous. Mm-hmm. Hello, my love. My loves, my beloveds. I had to turn down my fans because it's very warm today. Um, but happy Friday. Happy Friday. I don't know if you can tell, but I got a new camera and I love it very much. Um, it's a Sony A6400. I've been saving up for it for a long time. And since I like paid all my taxes and it reached my savings goal, I was able to buy it and I'm so happy. And I'm so excited to use it and see what it does for my video making process. But um, it's Friday today and I'm finishing up my July Patreon rewards. I'm currently exporting my tea time and then I will be uploading my sketchbook photos. And then 
the main thing today is just packing orders. I still have about 400 left from opening weekend, and so I'm working through those, um, and I'm hoping that I'll be able to finish next week, or be like completely done next week. Um, and then later today I want to work on some Twitch stuff. I want to work on some graphics for my Twitch, like for my panels, and I also want to work on some emotes because I have four emote slots now. Um, so that's very exciting, so I'm going to be working on that. And, um, yeah, it's just a, just a typical, typical old Friday work day. And then I'm looking forward to streaming this weekend. And I think I'm going to do some correspondent stuff on Sunday. So we'll see where the, we'll see where it takes us. Um, and then Connor has recently gotten into, um, Connor has recently gotten into Mario Kart which is very exciting. So we were playing that last night. So hopefully we can play a little bit more of that tonight. Yeah, I hope you're well. Thank you. 
this is editing Cheyenne again. Um, I, I've put on a little bit of blush and mascara since you saw me last. Um, just to sort of perk me up, I suppose. But this is the end of the video. And I, I, I because I had compiled so much footage kind of over the last month, I just totally forgot to record any kind of after, outro or like closing thoughts, I guess. But like, I hope that, oh, sorry, my, my Discord's blown up. Um, I uh, hope that this sort of, I hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you enjoyed this sort of journey of me working on shop things. Um, I basically for the last month have done nothing. Well, I guess technically this video is actually like a month and a half worth of footage because I started filming it at the beginning of July. So yeah, basically all I've been doing for the last month uh, is uh, packing orders. Um, I'm almost, I'm done now with opening weekend orders and then now I'm just sort of packing orders as per usual. Uh, I'm so grateful for your support. Thank you so much for buying things from my shop. Uh, I really appreciate it. As you can see, uh, I deal with a high volume of orders, which is a lot to deal with all by myself as a little as, as a singular being because I'm essentially just like packing, packing, packing for weeks and weeks and weeks, which leads to me being really exhausted and sort of like burnt out and really stressed and overwhelmed. And um, also like sort of, it just kind of drains me of energy so I can't make new stuff and like my creativity kind of disappears and my, my motivation to create things disappears. Um, and essentially, this is a wonderful problem to have, and like I don't want to sound like I'm complaining, but it's the truth of the matter, is that uh, my shop has outgrown me. And so <laughs> I'm trying, um, I had a meeting with Connor yesterday, and um, I'm just sort of essentially figuring out how to move forward so that I can keep creating awesome stuff for you guys, but also not be um, burnt out and super stressed by doing so. So I'm working on finding that balance and it's a, it's a journey, but we're gonna, I'm gonna figure something out. Don't you worry. Um, again, thank you so much for all the support on the shop update. It's rad and I think that's all I have for you. I'm probably gonna make myself another cup of tea. It's very warm in the apartment today. And um, I'm just, now I'm just like staring out at the mountains. That's all I have for you. Um, I hope that you are well. I hope that you are safe. I hope that, um, I don't know. I just hope you're happy and all right and all those good things. And I will see ya when I see ya, which should be pretty soon. So I'll see you then. Okay, I love you, bye.